Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. What is syntax for writing if else in a drive column transformation? So let's go to SSDT or bids and uh, uh, do a quick demo. We have data flow task and I want to read the data from a SQL server table. Let me go real quick here. Bring the OLEDB source as I'm reading the data from a SQL server table. Let's get the table. I already have set up the connection. You can set up connection, um, whatever, you know, and wherever your data is. And now hit uh, columns and hit preview. So here we have region code. I have AS, NA, EU, AF, and uh, SA. So what I want to do, I want to write a if else statement and say if region code is equal to AS means Asia. If it is the region code is equal to NA, it is North America. If it is EU, it is Europe. If it is AF, it is Africa. If it is SA, it is South Asia. And the rest of that, if I get the new values, that should be going to the unknown bucket. So that's how I can write the expressions in the derived column transformation. And let me show you how we can do it. Right now, if I have, uh, or I am using actually a OLEDB source, uh, I can use the case statement in the SQL command and uh, uh, get those all values. But if you are reading the data from a file or a Excel or XML source, then uh, you will not be able to write the T-SQL or PL-SQL queries. You have to have uh, write, use the derived column transformation to uh, write these expressions. So bring the derived column transformation. Open drive column tra uh, uh, transformation. Now we need to write the expressions uh, or statement on uh, region code. So how we can write it? We are going to bring the region code here and then say equal to equal to AS. Now this part is, that's where we are checking. So we are saying region code is equal to AS and we put in a question mark. So if it is, this is, uh, this is true. Then what it should be? Asia. And then we use the colons, that means the else part of that. Now the expression can end here. So if it is AS, it is, we are converted to Asia and we can convert everything else to something else, maybe rest of the world. We can do it end here. So this is one if else statement. But sometime we have combination of multiple if statements. So in our case, we have, uh, we wanna check the next one, we say region code is equal to equal to NA and that's uh, if uh, if that's true that should be converted to North America else uh, then we have uh, another values so we have uh, AS uh, NA EU and uh, a couple of more but I don't want to just keep writing it here and make this video lengthy so you can write it the same way by using question marks and uh, you know, colons and keep writing it and uh, um, you know at the end of whatever you want to convert to. So in this case, uh, I want to check these two regions only for AS and NA and otherwise uh, with the co uh, colons I said convert uh, to the rest of the world. So that's it. So if you see that right now the expressions are um, red, that means that maybe there is an error or something that that's really not true because I have to hit uh, outside of these expressions and that's where I can see if they are evaluated or the syntax is correct for these uh, uh, expressions. Uh, by just uh, uh, having your cursor here inside the expression, they will be red. So let's hit, hit outside and now we see that they are, uh, the color is changed from uh, red to the black so that's good sign so our syntax is correct if your syntax will be wrong let's say i'm removing this equal to sign they will be converted back to the red so that's how you can tell if you have written uh, the expression or their syntax is correct the next part is you want to replace in the same uh, column so you can select uh, um, the region code and uh, you know have uh, replace it in my case what i want to do i want to create a new column full region code. Now also one more thing I want, would like to add uh, real quick. Uh, the data type of this column is Unicode, that's mean and worker. We can always cast that if you want. So and I'm going to cast that one to the uh, 
work our 1252 that's the code for collation we have on sql server and ssis and uh, now if you see that uh, here we have to put the parenthesis and go all the way and uh, and put the parenthesis so now they should be converted to the string dtstr and that's how you can cast uh, the uh, your uh, column data type from an worker to worker or uh, you know uh, depending on the requirement let's hit okay the last one is uh, get the multicast uh, so we will be using multicast uh, just for the test purpose i want to show you the data bit flowing after the data flow uh, uh, not data flow but the drive column transformation so run the ssis package and we can see that here these are the actual region we have them we have as na europe and all that so i have translated as to asia i have translated to the and to north america and rest of that i said okay everything whatever comes uh, put in the rest of the world bucket so i could have write all those long expressions and sometime it is a uh, N not really a pleasant moment so when you have to write uh, uh, if else statements in the drive column transformation and uh, they are really lengthy so that kind of get tricky what i do i, I take them uh, write them into the ssms or write them into the word document and uh, then paste it there so that that's uh, how you will be using if else uh, statement uh, or write in your statements uh, in the drive column transformation thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video